guys, welcome back to another episode of I Am I. My name is Joshua Ansley. Still here in St. John. Uh, and the retreat I was leading uh, just finished. And it was, uh, you know, these things are always just so fucking magical. I mean, it's, it's really, if you've never been on a retreat, of any kind, uh, I, I, I highly suggest it. I mean, it's just, they're life transforming, you know? Um, and, it, and it's a lot, it's a lot for the teachers and the leaders of the retreat too. I mean, so much goes on, you know, behind the scenes to make that happen. Um, and it's, it's so incredibly healing for the teachers on the retreat as well. I mean, we're all just, you know, working through our shit, you know? We don't realize how much by us asking for help from others, how much it helps those people that are helping, you know? It's, it's service. It's, you know, service to others is, it's just, I, I, don't, I don't know how to put it. I don't, I don't understand how to explain it other than, you know, just, it gets you out of your own shit. It gets you into being able to help other people <laughs> with their own stuff, you know? And like, you can see that we're all in this, we're all in this together. <laughs> You know, and it's an illusion to think that we have to do it alone. We don't have to do it alone. We're not alone. And you have to find your people. And the more I recognize that it's all an illusion and I just have to put myself out there, the more I recognize it's just an, it's the world is full of people trying to do it and trying to live a good way and surrender into something. And, and service is tricky too because, you know, it's, it's not about me as I'm being of service, and yet, <laughs> yet it's so healing for me. But it's a, it's a perspective. It's where we're coming from when we get out of this idea that it's it's very humbling, actually. It's, but it's careful of you know I have to be careful of like wanting to help people and wanting to you know we can't want to we can't take the pain from other people, you know we can't take their struggle from them. That's that's actually theirs. That is something, that's their story. That's their journey. We, we can't take that from them. And we know we want to as like healers or we've been there and we don't want to see our, our parents, you know, we don't want to see our children struggle or whatever. And uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not a parent that, uh, that I know of anyway, but we can't take that from them. You know, there's a, a great, you know, an analogy about caterpillars, right? And, and the butterfly, if you try to help that butterfly out, of the cocoon, you know, because it's struggling to open up with it, then we're actually doing a hindrance because then the butterfly's wings don't get strong enough, you know, for it to be able to fly. And that's just, that's just the way life is. Those are our struggles that, that then as we sit through them and we recognize that this, it, that it's okay, not that it's going to be okay, but that it is okay, that everything is absolutely beautiful and as it's supposed to be. You know, and then we can we can help other people go through theirs. We don't take them out of their struggle. We we help them learn and grow in their struggle and, and emerge into the beauty of who they are as individuals and as, as children or as we move from children of God to being adults of God, you know? And, and um, it's through that struggle. It's through that turmoil. It's through sitting in our stuff, you know? And, and, and then eventually moving out from it, you know, and knowing when and hearing, continue to be growing and learning outside of our own shit. And that's what service is when we get to be of service to other people. We actually, we have to step out of our own shit. You know, we can see where something hits us and be like, okay, I'm not, I can sit with my own shit now. And I can sit with somebody else through their shit that I've already been through, you know. Anyway, um... It, it, it is very humbling. It's very humbling to, to actually be a vessel for this work and to make it not about me, you know, which I'm doing right now. It's all about me. It's all about Josh Anthony. The Josh Anthony show. That's the whole point. It's I am I. You are you. You are I. What the fuck am I talking about? I don't know. But it's something beyond. It's beyond Joshua Ansley. It's beyond who you are. It's like we don't even know who we are. It's like we're conditioned in this consciousness to think that we are this small little vessel, this little ego, and this like, it's so much bigger than that. It's a community. It's, it's um, you know, we did a bunch of snorkeling. You know, it's like, it is, it's just amazing watching people face their fears and, and facing my own fears, you know, of things. I faced tremendous fears on this trip already. And it's like watching coral, you know, and understanding coral are, are, is this, this group of organisms you know, they're, they're living organisms all coming together, you know, as a community. 
coral doesn't is not a, a lone single thing. Humanity is not a lone single thing. You know, we are, are all organisms in this this bigger picture. You know, and and it's not. I don't. I don't want to go rogue. You know, I want. I want to do my part in that. In in humbly, you know, in this in this organism. And back to the butterfly. The the caterpillar goes into this homeostasis, right? And it starts releasing these, what they call imaginal cells. You know, and they're imaginal. They, they have a blueprint on them that has never been seen by the, blue, by, by the caterpillar before. So when these imaginal cells are released, the caterpillar cells start attacking them, thinking it's a foreign body. But it continues to just pump it out so much, so much. These imaginal cells just start getting eaten, but they keep going, they keep going, and they keep going, and they pump it out until eventually they outnumber the caterpillar cells. And then they start eating and using the caterpillar cells as a source of energy to grow into this completely new being. And that is, that is transformation. That's why a, a caterpillar, caterpillar, as cheesy as it may be, is an amazing metaphor for it. Because it's, we have to inundate it with these imaginal cells and that's who we have to be. You know, and these other imaginal cells coming and supporting us and we just crush the other. And, and not even just, it's not that's bad. There's nothing wrong with the caterpillar. But we actually use that and transform that energy these lower energies into higher ones. We don't have to shun it. We just let it go, you know? Anyway, so I'm just kind of rambling, but I love you guys. I'm the Kesha Lakin. I am you. You are me. Namaste. Peace. is that we got some, some things here from local in St. John, this bush tea. So it's like uh, like chamomile or something. It's like really relaxing. You just throw all this stuff into a nice big pot, boil it up, and we've got some uh, sorrel. I don't know, I don't know what I don't know what this shit is. We come to a crossroads in our lives and sometimes we find out oh they just go to the same exact place, so don't worry about it. <laughs> all right so just because everybody seems to love the bathroom in New York I mean, this one is, is pretty bomb. It's like the half outdoor bathroom. Oh, the, ooh. Yeah, like that's the shower indoors, but outdoors. It's freaking awesome. Look at that shit. That's what I'm talking about. What the? I think, I think somebody's got it in for me. What's the deal with that? Well, prickly thing. That's my thumb, by the way. That's not my, it's not, there's no sack. There's no sack. That shit was right up against me. It wasn't even, it was hitting the tip. I was like, what the hell is that? Crickly bastard. Jam. We beach I'm on ya, man. Right near the beach. Burr. This wasn't me. This was, well, I don't know. I'm fucking full of shit. I have no idea if it was me. We're gonna find out when we bring the Jeep back, right? It may, it may have been me. I'm not really sure. There's a few times I hit a few things, but I think it was already there. I thought it was like hibiscus. It looks like hibiscus or something like that, and you make it with some some cinnamon you just again you just throw that and boil that up and stuff and it was like a little it's a drink I, th I don't think I don't know how the medicinal purposes of that but.
That's a punk rock tree right there. Punk rocker. This tree is a punk rocker now.